Hey, hey guys, Andrew Erickson. I am back with one of my favorite guests, Kian Golzari. Uh, Kian was on episode number one, the inaugural episode, Sourcing with Kian, and also uh, episode seven, talking about brand building. Uh, Kian, thank you so much for coming back on the podcast. Oh, absolute pleasure. Thanks for having me, Andrew. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's great to be here. Thanks for connecting me with the listeners once again. Hope that I can provide some more value to you guys today. So the main reason why I brought you on here is because of that sexy Scottish accent. <laughs> the second reason <laughs> is to talk about more sourcing stuff you are like the best sourcing person i know and uh we want to talk about how the canton fair has gone online um and so uh we w- i want to ask first why don't we talk about like what is the canton fair in case anyone in the space doesn't know already <laughs> Sure. Yeah. So the Canton Fair is the biggest import export exhibition in the world. It's in the south of China in Guangzhou and there's over 26,000 exhibitors over three phases. Sorry, there was a motorbike going on. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, 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 I didn't just let one rip. There's actually a bike that went fast. <laughs> um, that was so like a was, helicopter taking off. Damn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> So my yeah, my microphone is set up right next to the window, so I get a nice view. But then if there's an ambulance or a fire engine, it does uh, appear in the podcast. Um, yeah. So, so <laughs> Canton apologies. Fair. Yeah, One yeah, fun so, little fun thing about the Canton Fair is that that is where you and I met, actually. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Um, how many years? That was like two and a half, three years ago? Two. Yeah, I guess coming on three years now, we met there. So uh, um, I remember uh, you, so you were one of the mentors in China Magic, which we've talked about before. It's Athena Severi's event, China Magic. You were one of the mentors. And uh, I was trying to figure out like, how can I talk to Kian? And I, <laughs> I like saw you sitting there. And I was like, should I, should I interrupt him? I don't know. And I saw that you were wearing AirPods and they had just come out. And I was like, hi, Kian. I also have AirPods. <laughs> I like them. Do you like them? And you're like, yeah, I like them. I'm like, okay, cool. Can we talk about something else that's cool? And so, <laughs> yeah, no, I um, yeah, you're always wearing these really loud Hawaiian shirts. I think you had like a pineapple shirt and a cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, and then that was a really nice trip. And yeah, I mean, so so that that's the real Canton Fair, and you know, that's over three phases, like you can literally find anything you want there. Like every phase has got like different categories of product. You can find like toys, games, electronics, uh, sports and outdoor medicine, hospital equipment, uh, bulky, heavy electronics, like white goods, massage chairs, dishwashers, freezers, like Christmas lights, anything you want, you can find there. Um, it's basically where the, where the serious buyers of the world go to purchase their products traditionally for their like retail stores or for the brands. But now it's completely wide open to everyone because there's so many people selling uh, online. And yeah, there's, just over 26,000 exhibitors. There's hundreds of thousands of people which go visit. Um, but now the Canton Fair has moved online, which is what we're going to talk about today. And it's not just for online sellers, right? It's not just like this Amazon FBA space, like work from laptop lifestyle kind of niche. That These are like big companies and most of the business is done in brick and mortar stuff, mm-hmm. right? It's not, it's not just like an e-com thing. It, it, no, it's, it's, it's big retail stores going like uh, your, you know, your buyers for like Walmart and Target and guys like that. And even the companies like me who supply those guys go there and develop products and we sell into those stores. It's kind of people who are the serious buyers the people who are doing big business. But now e-commerce sellers are also doing big business. So they're definitely should be there as well. So it's, it's fun. It's exciting. You get to have like face to face communication. You get to understand who you're doing business with. And, you know, the best suppliers in the world go to the Canton Fair. Um, some of the, a lot of suppliers which are at the Canton Fair do not list their products on Alibaba because they're so good at what they do that their production lines are always full, that they meet their real serious buyers there. They don't feel the need to list their products on Alibaba. Um, but we can save that for another episode about Alibaba. Perfect. Let's do that. And so, uh, of course, we know that meeting in person is kind of hard right now <laughs> The that we are recording uh, October 2020. 2020 has been a very difficult year to meet in person. So that's why they've gone online now, right? Uh, so, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, no, no. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, this year has uh, presented a lot of challenges. So uh, for that reason, you know, because we can't travel to China, now the, the fair's gone online because it has to go ahead. And this is actually the second time the fair's gone online. The first time they did it was in June. And uh, now this is our second attempt at it. And now, you know, previously the, the last Canton Fair was over like three weeks and three different phases, like one phase for each week. But now it's just 10 days. It's actually the 15th of October to the 24th of October. But all suppliers, all phases are available in this like 10-day window. So now is your time. Now is your opportunity to 
align yourself with the best manufacturers by using this Canton Fair website. And today is actually, uh, so we are recording on the 15th, so it just went live and we'll try to get this published really, really soon so that you can uh, listen to it and learn how to use the Canton Fair online. So can you have a video talking about how this went up on uh, back in June and um, on your YouTube channel, Sourcing with Kian? Um, mm -hmm. Tell us, let's, before we jump into the current Canton Fair, why don't you tell us a little bit about the last one in June? Sure. So the last one was a massive opportunity in that it kind of opened up the Canton Fair suppliers to get a much larger audience as well. But to be honest, it was a bit of a letdown because like Alibaba is an amazing online platform, which they've just figured out how to use the website to engage people in the best way, but don't necessarily host the best suppliers. The Canton Fair is the opposite. It has the best suppliers, but it's got a very bad website, which is not easy to use. And there was a lot of challenges with the last Canton Fair that, um, on the website that it was all in Chinese and you had to translate the page into English. There, there were registration issues. Um, even when you put in all your details correctly, it wasn't registering. A lot of people were put off because you had to put in like your business registration number. You have to put in your passport number. And people are like, why would I put my passport number into a website which is only in Chinese? And that I've never even heard of this thing before. Some guy on a YouTube channel told me to go on this website. <laughs> <laughs> so there was a lot. And then like the, the, the search a function was terrible that like even when you typed in what you were looking for it brought up loads of results without a way to actually filter your results so if you typed in like massage chair it would bring up like seven thousand results but it would list them in alphabetical order oh. and there was, there was no way to filter it by like you know where's the factory located how many years have been in business what certificates they have so you're not going to scroll to page 45 to see like oh that's the supplier i wanted so it was a bit of a disaster but I can say, and so I've made a video on that, as you said, like summarizing it, I would definitely check that out um, just to get an idea on how to figure out how to take advantage of this online Canton Fair. And I think that was just called Canton Fair Goes Online. Um, or if you type in online Canton Fair into YouTube or Sourcing with Kian on YouTube, you'll find it. It's like 15 minutes. I just summarized it. But now, uh, watch that as a pre-context. And now we're going to go over, uh, you should get your laptop out now. Like if you are listening to this podcast, go to cantonfair.org.cn. That's the official website. Don't go on any other websites. Um, and then that's the official Canton Fair website. And then let's navigate through this one together and see how we can find the best suppliers. Perfect. Let's do it. Do a little side-by-side uh, -side with Kian. So, the so first thing I'll, fo I'll follow along with you on my laptop. Um, and then uh, um, we'll narrate. So if someone's listening to this via audio or, or watching on YouTube, um, uh, you can just follow along with us. Um, but well, and if, if you are listening to this while you're jogging or driving, like uh, either pause or re-listen to it, and then we'll we'll follow along. But we'll make sure that narrate so that you can still follow along with us. Cool, cool. So the first thing you have to do is to, to register for the fair. Now, if you've been to a Canton fair before, you will have received a blue badge, and you can literally just register. You can put in your the ID number on the badge. You can type in your name, uh, and that's you registered. And because they have all your details before from when you registered. Now, if you've not registered before, you will most likely have to put in your company information. The improvements that they've made on this current website is that they have, um, it's not in Chinese anymore, it's actually in English. <laughs> I actually had problems with it um, before because it was in Chrome. And as we know, like Google, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, that's all bland, banned and blocked in China. So last time when I used Safari, it was okay, but when I used Chrome, I had issues. Now you can use Chrome and it's fine. And like, there's not those like um, Chinese words that you have to translate. So that's a plus. It's easy. It's much easier to register. Um, you just take the time to fill out your information, and then you're good to go. Now, there's some very good things uh, about this website. The biggest advantage is the the suppliers which are listed on this website are most likely to be the best manufacturers in China. And there's several ways you can contact them. Now, there is just right at the top. There's a a product um, that you can just type in what you're looking for and search for it. The search feature is probably the biggest downfall of the website. You you can just try it, search for what product you're looking for. You might get lucky, but that's not necessarily where you're going to find the best suppliers. So if you keep scrolling down, what you can do is um, there's two halls or two two options that come up immediately. One there's a VR exhibition hall, and then two there's uh, exhibit exhibitors which are live. And all these factories, which normally go to, to the Canton Fair and exhibit, are now in their own showrooms in their office. And they've basically just got a live stream going. And you can literally watch them. And there's maybe like four or 5,000 companies like streaming all at the same time. You can type in what you're looking for. You can type in the category. You can select uh, what you want to click on. 
and then you go into live stream and you can ask them questions live. And if they aren't live, then they'll be showing a repeat. You can watch their videos and you can see the suppliers explain the product. And they normally have their, their contact information, their WeChat, which you can just scan their codes and you can just engage in conversation with them right after you've seen their live. And what I like about mm-hmm. that is that the Canton Fair is normally where suppliers go to demonstrate their new products because Canton Fair tradi- traditionally would happen twice a year. So suppliers develop products in order to exhibit them at these fairs. So the one thing I always love to ask when I'm at the Canton Fair is what is new? What, what have you developed which is new for this Canton Fair? And they have something there. Whereas Alibaba is online every single day. So they're not developing something new every single day to show you. So this should be the new cutting edge products. This is new for next year that you should be seeing there. Now, quite often they don't show that front and center because they don't want to like show their competitors what they've been working on and they don't want to show like the non-serious buyers what they've been working on. So you have to build up a little bit of rapport. You have to engage with conversation with them, uh, get their WeChat and then start asking them what are the new products you've developed here for the Canton Fair and you will find some gems. And then it's absolutely about speed to market and how fast can you get that online on Amazon before other people also find that product. And here it's kind of like a diamond in the rough and needle in a haystack because the website is quite poor. If you have the persistence and you have the energy to go through these live streams and check on, check on as many suppliers as you can, you will find a gem. But most people I imagine will go on this website and be like, oh my God, this is too complicated and I'll just close <laughs> it down. But you will have the advantage uh, over those people. Interesting. So live stream, you click on the person's, on the factory's profile and then you can see their live stream right there. Yeah, so, so if you click on uh, exhibitors on live, it's going to come up. It's got live now and it's got replay and it's got upcoming and you can just scroll down and there's loads of, loads of different ones you can scroll through and it's just not necessarily in any order, but then there's an option that says on the right, it says all categories. You drop that down and you can select um, electronic, lighting equipment, vehicle parts, machinery, and just keep scrolling. It's got like um, energy resources, gifts, home decorations, shoes, office supplies, medicine, and then like you click on one of those and it'll go into even more subcategories. So it doesn't give you the option to search for it, but you can select their pre-listed categories and then find products. And it's really, it's, it's amazing. Like you can literally just scroll through it and you'll find like loads of cool, like little um, images. You're like, Oh, I've not seen that before. And then you click on it and then they're live and then you can talk to them. It, it's pretty cool. I've not seen anything like this before, but like I said, That's you have pretty to have neat. persistence. Yeah. And so, and, then, and so when you, when you're doing the live stream, you can, open a live video with them, sort of like a Zoom or Skype call? I think they're, they're the only ones live, but then you can arrange to talk to them individually as well, like once they've come off of a live, but at least get their contact information so you can like write to them on email or WeChat uh, right afterwards. Um, and then you have the option to watch that on replay as well if you want to go back and see it again. And then you mentioned earlier about, uh, sorry to cut you off, when, when you uh, mentioned earlier about like asking about seeing like the new product that they designed for this fair, um, mm-hmm. is that, are you doing that via email or doing that via video? And is that kind of like you got to build a little rapport before you ask so, no, to see that stuff, right? Yeah. yeah. So, so I've watched a few of these live streams and some of them just show it to you front and center, like, Hey, this is what's new. And they're just showing it to you right there. And you're like, okay, cool. Yeah. And then you can inquire about that product. But some of them might just show like just products that you've seen before. But if you're going to talk to them about those products, you might as well ask them, hey, have you developed any new products for this Canton Fair? Because that's what they normally do, like develop products like for the fair. So either you see something, and if you don't, and just ask them what they've been developing uh, as well. Interesting. And then, so that's like the exhibitors on live section. And then next to that, you have the VR exhibition hall. And this is new. I didn't remember seeing this at the last Canton Fair. And the VR exhibition hall, I had to play around with it. You can click on it. And the Canton Fair has got three massive halls, like area B, A, B, and C. And then within each hall, you've got like eight different rooms. And in those different rooms, you've got like three different floors. So there's like just so many different like rooms you can go into. And then within one of those rooms, like in area B, you've got halls like eight to 16. And then in hall like 12, you've got 12.1, 12.2, 12.3. So like you can literally click on VR. You can click on the area, click on the hall, go to the second floor, and then the Canton Fair charges a supplier for the booth space. You can literally just click on the booths, which has got the company names. So you can literally walk the floor in this oh. VR hall. Um, and then you can click on any of the booths and you can go inside and you can just see the products and click on the products. Now, like we've been, to, uh, we've been to the Canton Fair where you walk from nine o'clock in the morning till 6 p.m. and you don't get through all the booths. So I can't imagine you like virtually walking <laughs> through all these halls uh, either because it's a lot easier to walk it than to like scroll with your mouse and actually look inside. 
So if you know where you're going, then like if you can select, you can select the categories of what products you want to look for, then take the time to like look through the halls, but don't just aimlessly look f for a product because you'll be there like for the next 10 days and you probably won't make it out of the first hall. Um, I guess if you, but, if you know your niche though, you would, you would uh, like if you're just in kids toys, you would go to just this room and then, or if you're just in pets, the pet section is actually relatively small at the Canton Fair. You could see every, every booth, but yeah. absolutely don't see every single booth that isn't your niche because, oh my God, there's a lot. Yeah, we got a lot of free time, yeah. Wow, this is really neat actually. So I'm, I'm like jumping in, it's in the VR thing right now and it's, it kind of shows it all laid out, um, sort of how you would see it, exactly how you'd see it in, um, in person and mm -hmm. then you just click on something and it pops up their site. Wow, that is neat. Andrew's lost in the matrix right now. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so those were like the two important things. And then the hidden gem, which I went over in the YouTube video is, um, and this is something that I just know from being to so many Canton fairs as you're walking from hall A to hall B, it's like a long, it's, it's like you just walk along and people just go in from hall to hall. Right. But on the left, there's this like little glass room and that's called like the design hall and it's essentially, or the award hall. And it's basically any product which won an award sits in that little glass room and everyone just walks past it. No one knows what it is, but I always go in and it's basically like for the entire Canton fair, any product which won an award is there. So like if you've developed a new like Bluetooth scale, or if you've developed um, a waterproof jacket, which is the most lightweight waterproof jacket ever existed, or if you um, invent the new headphones, which have a range of like a hundred meters, like they're all there. And, an amazing, the, I would say the best thing about this Canton Fair website is that you can go down to that design hall. So if you scroll down to the bottom, it's just called CF Awards. It's under services and support. Yeah. It's a little tab that says CF Awards. And if you click there, you come in, it still doesn't even take you there. Like you just see um, this like page loading and then it takes you to um, a little glass room or actually here, here they've actually improved it uh, from last year, right? Um, They've now got an online gallery and an introduction and, and contacts and stuff like that, which this wasn't here before. But if you scroll down, it says online exhibitorn hall. So we've actually had a spelling mistake there. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but if you go to the exhibitorn hall um, and click on that, that's now going to take you into, well, it, it loads first of all. And here's the thing, you would never know to look for this um, unless you knew it was there because it just, none of this makes any sense uh, or is it spelled correctly and it's still loading. I would have given up by now uh, if I didn't know what this was. <laughs> Uh, but it's still loading okay and now it just says enter so you can enter and now it's just planted you it's got this dodgy music as well so <laughs> let me turn the music off um and then now it, it's essentially like a google map where like a, you know like the google street view maps where you can literally yeah. plant, you're planted outside this hall you double click and it takes you in the glass door is closed and you can't even see the product so you would th this is honestly like <laughs> if you pay attention to this part you could find your next winning product here you just double click, you go into the glass doors and this is a hall full of products which have won awards. So the first thing that I see when I go in, I see is like a yellow frying pan, some black kitchen knives and you click on the frying pan and it just brings up everything which is unique about this product, why it won an award. Um, and then you can, and it, this one's got some really cool features, like some weird handles, some weird sort of locking mechanism. And you can literally then type in, uh, copy, copy and paste whatever keywords are relevant to that product into Amazon, see that it doesn't exist, contact the manufacturer, um, get your pricing and then create your listing and order your sample. Like it's really, this is where I think you're going to find the winning products uh, in this website. And this is where like the most value is uh, to the Canton Fair uh, online. Because I'm telling you like 99 out of 100 people will never know. Even to the people who have been to the Canton Fair before will not know about this hall. Never mind like where to find it on this website. I will say this is much cooler than I expected. I had pretty low expectation. <laughs> this, <laughs> this, yeah, this is, huh. So it definitely, I think it definitely helps having been to the Canton Fair because you kind of see, you kind of know like the rooms and stuff like that. Um, mm. But it definitely, I could see someone who's never been to Canton Fair, never been to China. This would be a, a pretty good way of being introduced to it. And especially mm. one thing um, when I, I remember before I went to the Canton Fair for the first time, being really nervous about how to do it and how to use it and like, what does it look like and stuff. And there actually was not a lot of good content out there on YouTube. I wonder if there's someone who had like a YouTube channel that would talk about the Canton Fair. I wish I had that like five I, I years wish ago. You were someone, I wish you were talking to him right now. <laughs> <laughs> 
uh, but it was really intimidating. I mean, you're just some random dude going to China and like going to this fair, right? Like I didn't yeah. really know what I was doing. This is actually, if you're planning on going to the Canton Fair in person at some point in your life, this actually seems like a nice little like introduction. introduction. Yeah. 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 Huh. And this is actually pretty neat. As it happens, I've actually got a YouTube video as well called um, Product Development in the Canton Fair. And I get, basically got the camera to follow me around and I went into the booths and I had real conversations with real suppliers and developed products there in the Canton Fair and basically showed you like how to engage in conversation, how to pick products, uh, how to tweak products, how to get your samples. And it's all in the real life Canton Fair. And that's a cool video to watch even before you go to the online Canton Fair because you can see what it looks like in real life and then you can apply what you learned there online so you have like a frame of reference as well. And it also shows your experience a little bit more as well because if you can, you know, engage with conversation uh, with suppliers here and say that you could say you've been to the fair after watching the video because you know what actually goes on, they'll have a little bit more like respect for you because they know that you're a buyer which actually travels to china and actually goes to the fair and because everyone who goes to the canton fair is regarded as like the serious buyers because if you've actually flown to china and gone to their place of business it means you're serious about actually doing business in china and for that reason they tend to give you like more respect and they're not going to mess you around as much so i would definitely recommend watching that video so you have like a better frame of reference and that's just called product development in the canton fair which is on the sourcing with kian youtube mm. channel Nice. So when I jump into the, like the little booths, it's not actually a picture of the booth. It's like a picture of their showroom. Is that right? Are you still in the design hall? Or are you back in the virtual reality? Back in the VR. Oh, right. Okay, cool. Um, so yeah, you should be able to like, just click on um, a hall, then click on the booth. And then as you walk into the booth, it should just have like links to products. Unless nice. you've gone to a different hall. <laughs> I, I don't imagine that like all the halls will be like, th there might be some like differences in the halls as well though. I've, I've only went into a few of them. Nice. This is super cool. All right. You guys have a homework assignment, all the listeners. Uh, we are recording on the first day of the Canton Fair. It's uh, how long does it go for, Kian? 10 days. So today is the first day of the 15th and it finishes on the 24th. Perfect. Okay. So I uh, will get this published as soon as possible. Uh, your homework assignment all my listeners go to the Canton Fair and check out the uh, uh, register or you can take your old badge and, and uh, sign up for it and check it out for sure. Um, the second homework assignment is go subscribe to uh, Sourcing with Kian on YouTube. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, Kian, any more tips before we, uh, before we uh, uh, end the show and have people go do their homework assignment? You know, I would say just have fun with this because like, don't take it too seriously. Like this is like, it's not supposed to be stressful. Like I think like, as you said, Andrew, like the first time you went to China, it was a little bit like intimidating. You didn't know what to expect. Scary, man. They kind of see it the same way as well. Cause sometimes if it's their first Canton fair, they've not done business with foreigners before. And at the end of the day, like we want to buy a product and they want to sell a product. We want to do business with foreigners. They want to do business with foreigners. Like we're all here in the same game. Like if we can source profitable products, they get more orders then they win and we win. So like, it's don't think, oh, this guy's trying to screw me over or like, how, what do I do here? Just go in with it with an open mind. There's plenty of suppliers. If you, if you feel like you messed up, well, there's another supplier in the booth next to him. Just go in and <laughs> try it again. It's, it, I would honestly compare it to like talking to a girl at a bar. You know what I mean? Like it might be a little bit nervous the first time you do it, but when you're like, oh, hey, that worked. She was into me. Well, now you go into the next booth with more confidence. You're like, I know what to say now. So just like, just go for it. Don't have any fear and, and just have fun with it. That's perfect advice. I love that. Go with confidence. All right, Kian, thank you so much. Uh, make sure we'll have links to your, uh, to, to that YouTube video you mentioned about walking around the Canton fair and doing product development. And uh, we'll have a link to your Facebook group and then anything else to find you. Uh, yeah, just Facebook group also called Sourcing with Kian. And then also if anyone's on Instagram, I hang out there as well where I'm Kian underscore JG. And yeah, a lot more social there. So it'd be cool if we connect. If you like the, if you enjoyed this episode today, if you want to say hello, just uh, jump in the GMs, uh, GMs, uh, jump in the DMs. Just hit us <laughs> up. It'd be nice to hear from you. Awesome. Thank you so much, Keen. I really appreciate it. Pleasure, man. Good to see you and take care. And guys, enjoy the Canton Fair. Happy product hunting. <laughs>